We are here on day two of the 2009 GB World Cup at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. As you can see, we have a tremendous layout with a three mat area and a fantastic crowd supporting the GB team. The first day saw capacity crowds where both Sarah Clark and Kimberly Rennicks took gold medals in their respective weight categories. As well as the action on the mat, there were various activities on the concourse, including trade stands, music, a children's area, and a visit from a famous Japanese judo star. Kosi Inui, Olympic gold medalist and three times world champion, signed autographs for his fans on both days. Kosi, who is currently based in Edinburgh, improving on his English, is a real ambassador for the sport. Spectators lined up to the BJA merchandise stand to have his name signed on posters, leaflets and tickets. Kosi attended the World Cup with his wife Aki and daughter May, who also joined in on getting snaps of Kosi and his fans. There were two gold medalists on the Sunday, including Edinburgh's Ewan Burton and over-78 judoka Sarah Adlington. I was saying earlier to somebody, I don't think it was the, the best performance I've ever given them my whole life, but when you end up on the top of the rostrum, you've got to, you've got to be quite pleased. And um, I, I think I had some, some good fights, uh, some real world-class guys in there today. Um, Flavio Canto's a, an Olympic medalist and uh, a world medalist as well. He's previously Paris tournament champion. Um, to beat him, Travis Stevens has had some great results over the last couple of years as well. Um, so there's some real, real world-class guys. So it's, it's good to stand above them on the, on the rostrum. Um, I think it was it was a fairly dominant performance physically. Um, I didn't feel I felt I, I can outpowered most of the, the guys I fought. Um, so, so that was a real positive, and it's, it's a confidence booster again. I had a, a poor World Championships. So I didn't have the greatest uh, European Championships either this year. So um, it's good to win. And with 2012 coming up, it's good to win on home soil. You know, get get practice in it, winning on home soil. So, yeah, This was the first time ever that a Men and Women's World Cup has been held in Britain and it was a huge success. Thank you to all who attended and we look forward to seeing you next year.